G'day everyone. Uh, today I thought that I'd just sort of give you an a initial review of the Blackmagic 2ME, the new version that's just come out. Now it's got 20 inputs and it's got 12 outputs. It's really an amazing device and it's going to give me something that I can grow uh, with over you know the coming months and probably a couple of years uh, until they bring out a 4K version. Um, but before this I used to have the ATM uh, Mini Extreme. Um, but I'm really enjoying this. But I thought, you know, that it's, it's taken me a little bit of time to sort of get up to this stage. I'm still organizing everything, so it's going to be a work in progress for a little while. But I thought that I'd sort of share with you how I've done this at this stage. Uh, and then as I build this up over a period of time, I thought that I'd share some more with you. Um, so just to show you the actual unit itself, just let me switch over. Um, so to connect this unit, you just do it the same way that you would with any other uh, ATM. You just go to connection through here, and then you'll see that it'll come through as the uh, ATM 2ME Constellation HD. Uh, if you go into your setup, you can then set it up through here. You just have to put your IP address in. Uh, and then basically just save that and then you can connect it through here. Um, if you also click onto this, it will do an upgrade if it needs to do a firmware upgrade at the same time. So that's uh, very cool as well. So you can see once you connect, this is your um, interface that will show up. Uh, very, very similar to what I have with my ATM Extreme. There's just a few little differences uh, that I'll talk about as we go on. Uh, this is your 20 inputs, as you can see here. I've labeled these at the moment, just a few of them. There's Mac, which is my MacBook uh, Pro. I've got me, which is the camera that's on me. There's the HyperDeck. There's an Apple TV, and then my Mac Mini is connected in at this stage. So I'm only running five inputs, but I'll have things like other cameras, wireless systems, and also iPads and things like that connected as well. Uh, down the bottom, uh, a couple of differences here compared to my previous one is I can now have 40 images that I can bring in here. I haven't brought any in yet at this stage. I'm still setting it up. You can also have clips showing up here and uh, and also sound. I think this is all to do with the stinger that you can put in. I, th I think it can go up to 400 uh, stills for the stinger. Down the bottom also, you've got audio coming through. Now you can see at the moment, I've got uh, my microphone that's coming through here. I have got a delay on that. Uh, because the Sony cameras are fed in by HDMI and then through SDI uh, converters in and there's a delay I've had to put seven so it's quite a delay uh, through there uh, and then if I play audio this will be coming in uh, directly uh, as well and you can see that over there where it's it's actually playing through here I've just got it disabled at the moment um, but you can see there that it's, it's enabled as well uh, the beauty uh, of the way that I've got this system set up though is that I can hear a clean feed out of this, so I'm not getting this delay that's coming back out. So I can hear everything that's going through, uh, but it's I don't get the delay, which is great. So I'm, I'm really happy with how that's set up. Uh, cameras is just if you have some Blackmagic cameras, I haven't got those. Under the control over here or, or your settings, uh, you just put your settings in here, which is your um, 1080p 50. Uh, this is not a 4K unit, so it, it's stuck in 1080p. Uh, and then you've obviously got, uh, this is where you have your media pool set up where you can go up to 400 or so. Um, I, I still don't quite understand, but this is something to do with that stinger. Your audio is through here. You can have uh, split audio channels if you'd like to. There's also talk back. Uh, you can also have mix minus as well. And your, your general settings is just to do with your audio. Hyperdeck, I've noticed that it's getting this disconnection again. I don't know why, but every time you shut it down, you have to reconnect. For some reason, you have to put another number in. I don't know why it's actually doing this, but if I click now and put the real um, IP address in, it will connect. So you can see now my HyperDeck is connected and that shows up actually through here. So you can see there that it's it's connected at this stage. It's recording at the moment. So that's how that all works. Now also, if we go back into the settings through here, you can see as well that we've got multi-view now. Now in this unit, there's two multi-views that are there. Uh, you can also have a second multi-view as well. I haven't got that connected yet because I don't need those inputs. Label is where you rename everything. Uh, your hyperdeck, like I said, is um, what I just showed you a second ago. And then you have remote, uh, which uh, I think that's to do with if you have cameras connected. So once that's done, then you can just use this as a switcher. Now I've also found that it works with mix effect. I'll just quickly show you that as well so you can see what's going on there as well. Um, this has just been released. You can see up here that it's detected the uh, ATM2ME. 
uh, and then you'll get all of your controls and everything through here as well. Uh, this is an amazing program if you want to use this uh, to get full control. Uh, you know, your audio meters and everything now are all coming through. Uh, it's really good. It's also got SuperSource, this version as well. Uh, I haven't used any SuperSource yet. It's picked up the previous SuperSource that I used to use um, through there as well. Even your Hyperdex can be connected uh, through here at the same time too. So Mix Effect, I'm not going to go through any more than this at this stage, but Mix Effect is working. So let's just quickly look at the video hub. That works as well. Uh, I'll just switch over and show you that. Now the, uh, the sort of setup that you do doesn't work the way it's meant to because it is meant to just pick uh, the um, video switcher up. But I had to put the manual IP address in and I just did that through here. And if you go select video hub, I had to add it manually and then put in the IP address through here as well. So that's how that worked. And then if it does work, uh, I've still got to learn how to use this yet. So I've just put things in and I haven't really started to switch things yet, but I did play around with it and it does switch. Uh, so it does work. Now, another thing that works as well as the companion uh, software works. And once I get this set up to the, st uh, the actual stream decks, they'll, they'll work as well. Uh, I'll just show you that too. So you can see how that worked. Uh, it has picked up the Hyperdeck uh, with the same settings that it was on previously. And all I had to do in here was I had to put in the IP address and then I've chosen the Constellation HD 4K uh, and that works. It actually connects. Uh, and if you look at the emulator through here, then it will pick up, for instance, it's got my Mac uh, Book Pro, it's got me, uh, the Hyperdeck 3 and the ATV, and they switch. So it does actually work. Um, so that part's functional as well. We obviously just have to wait for some updates for them to fully support this uh, unit. Okay, so let's look at the inputs. Um, if you look down here, uh, this is where your 20 inputs actually are. Uh, and then you've got some controls on this side. I'm not going to go through all this. I might review this at a later date. And you can see the monitor that you can see here. You've also got a little wheel that you can turn there and also control your menus and things like that as well. Uh, here you can have a headset uh, or a microphone and headset connected. And then you've got some other features. Like I said, I might talk about this in the uh, review at, at another time. Uh, at the moment, I'm just uh, going between the two cameras, which is me, live at the moment, which is number two. Number five is the computer. When I switch over, you'll see that it will switch uh, through here. And you can also see the switch going on through here as well. Uh, Red is, is the one that's actually live at this stage. Now, to show you my setup that's actually working here, um, this is a 48 inch screen that I've got set up here. That's my main monitor. All these monitors are connected up through the converters that you see at the back. So they're all going through there so I can get them into my actual 2ME, which I've got down here. You can see up here, I've got the multi-view. Um, that's like my confidence monitor, so I can see exactly what's streaming at that exact time. Uh, the monitor that I've got up here is showing me my web presenter. I love that because it will give me things like it'll show what the bit code, the streaming rate is, and whether my cache is being filled or anything like that as well. Uh, the microphone up here is a Sennheiser. The camera that I'm using through here is a ZVE-10. Uh, and I'm also using as my main monitor or main microphone, I'm using just the Shure here. Um, also, I've got another audio device that I use for when I'm doing guitar work and things like that, or just playing audio through my system is just using this. Um, it's an Audio Fuse Studio. This is the monitor for my uh, Mac Mini that's coming through there as well. Uh, underneath the table here, this is the keyboard for my Mac Mini. And underneath here, this is the whole uh, basically system audio that I'm using. It's just using the uh, X18. Uh, I love it because it's all networked, uh, interfaced. Um, and basically, the way that this works is, so I've got a feed coming out to the 2ME, uh, and that's from that with delay added in. Uh, and what I will then do also is I've got an output which will come into monitors that you can see here that will be uh, a, basically a clean feed. So why I do that is because I don't want to hear the delay in my ears, but I want to be able to hear everything that's going on um, through the actual unit. Uh, like I want to hear if the music's playing or if there's a problem with the audio and things like that. So I like to have a clean feed out. If you don't have a clean feed out, uh, you get that delay in your earphones and, and that's just terrible to listen to. So it, it's working really good so far. I do have also uh, two Steam Decks. I've got one here and also one over there that I'm going to set up with Companion. 
Uh, and I also use Loop Deck too in this system as well. So let's have a look at how the back's all set up. You can see here, these are your 20 inputs uh, through the back, and also then you've got 12 outputs uh, that are there as well. Now, the good thing is with the uh, web presenter and also the Hyperdex, they're all SDI, so you can take them straight in. You don't have to have converters at all with those. Everything else is running through converters that I've got uh, that you can see here. My MacBook is actually connected through this. Now, the way I've got the audio going in is it's connected through here and then it goes into the audio through here. Uh, and that's how I've been able to get my audio in uh, separately. It's I'll, I'll have to go through another video and explain how it's all set up because it's, it's really quite complex. Uh, just at the back, I've got an Apple TV that's connected through here. Um, this is a hard drive that I've got connected, an NVMe, and then I've got various hubs. Uh, this is my Mac uh, Mini that's down here as well. Uh, and I've also got a couple of hubs and things behind here. And my MacBook Pro is behind here. Uh, so that's how that's set. I even have a number of um, converters in the back down here as well. You have to excuse the mess. It's crazy until I clear the, all of this up. So, so far, I'm really happy with how it's all set up. It's taken me quite a while, particularly to organize the sound aspect of it because I wanted to get that clean feed out without the delay. And that took me a while to work out how to actually do that. Uh, the setup, like I said, is still a uh, work in progress and I'll still be adding many more devices to this, but I just wanted to give you a, a sort of quick overview of how this all works. Uh, and it seems to be functioning very well at this stage. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, leave them down below and I'll, I'll try and answer them if I can. Uh, apart from that, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.